in places. As part of Hispanic Heritage Month, the Irma Lerma Rangel College of Pharmacy in Kingsville is calling attention to some local folklore that's connected to pharmacy history. Yeah, the pharmacy school there is currently highlighting the work of a popular curandero or medicine or folk healer from Falfurias who died more than 100 years ago. I'm Mike De Silva visited the gravesite today, a place that's become something of a religious shrine. The College of Pharmacy says Don Pedro Jaramillo was a curandero or folk medicine healer who helped whoever he could without seeking money or recognition for it. The faith healing ministry all began after Don Pedro got injured while riding on a horse. He was knocked off the horse by a branch from a tree and then fell to the ground breaking his nose. He is then said to have healed himself with mud. He says that God came to him and told him you will spend the rest of your life healing other people, and that's what he made his life's work. Don Pedro reportedly often prescribed mud, water, and local plants to treat people's sicknesses. At the site where Don Pedro's buried in Falfurious, people come from all over to light candles, make requests, and pray. There are photos and letters of people seeking healing and answers to prayer that adorn the walls of the building housing his grave. We spoke with one woman who drove from the valley to pray, and she's been coming to the site for 20 years. When I was 25, I was living in Aranzas Pass, and uh, my life stopped. It wasn't going very well because of all the violent and all the situation that was going out there. And uh, my mom came and prayed for me. My life turned around. Don Pedro's great-granddaughter is the caretaker of the site, Dolores Villarreal, showing us a collection of testimonials of people who claim to have been miraculously healed through the power of prayer. They're very impressive. There's a lot of believers. And with that faith, I do believe they do get healed. Don Pedro died 106 years ago, but through the power of belief, his life is still having an impact on many lives today. Mike De Silva, 3 News. Fascinating history still to come.